Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, 20, yeah, uh, 2023 was a, uh, was a year, it was really difficult, I'm not gonna lie. I dropped that at like two colleges, and the first one, first one was my choice, second one, just, it just closed down, so, that was fun, you know, that, a lot of trials and tribulations this year. And I mean, I got my wish from last year. It was a very developmental year for the channel and for myself. But I got my shit rocked, <laughs> like, badly this year. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I wanted to focus on films a lot this year, and I kind of, like, did that, but at a cost. Because I started focusing on Tree Hunter. I wanted to do more, but I couldn't, because I was so busy all the time. It started to get way more difficult to upload, to have time to upload. Uh, like, for instance, the Jurassic Park 3 dub that came out in the beginning of the year, that took like the in that took like two months to make because I was so fucking busy. I made a lot of stuff this year, actually. What, what, what did I make? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up what I just what I made this year. I think I could actually say that I'm I'm pretty proud of what I've been able to do on YouTube for the last year. Uh, I really, really, unironically, really tried to push and push and push and push my 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 sensibilities and push my my skills. Uh, my editing has gotten better. My overall writing sensibilities have gotten better. Uh, I think I know my strengths now. I think I can keep pushing in this direction. The Tree Hunter series is kind of taking on a life of its own that I did not really necessarily expect it would when I first made that video. I, now I have like legacy content that I can make more from, technically. Uh, the reviews are popping off. A lot of people seem to like them. Mainly revolving around uh, video essays. That's something that I think you're gonna see a lot more of. Not just Godzilla, just film in general. Um, the dubs, uh, I remember the first Jurassic dub uh, it was a fucking something I made in 2020 when I was fucking depressed and sad. I liked it a lot enough to make two more, and the the last one, Jurassic Park 3, is easily my best dub, which is not saying much because I've only made three. But that one I tried fucking. I spent so much fucking time on that one. That one was so fucking complicated to make and and it took so long, but it felt good because I felt like, in a way, because I was dubbing something and not making something from scratch, I could technically tell a much larger story than than, uh, than I was used to, do, to doing, you know? Which, trust me, is a fucking godsend to me. But yeah, like the smaller videos, the, the shorter films, the sh like the super like micro films that I've been posting to keep my uh, filmmaker side busy while I work on Tree Hunter or the dubs or stuff of that nature, writing other scripts that I know damn well won't be made now because I have no money and and I'm only like I'm not even 20 yet. All the content, no matter how how I I'll look at it in the future, I've put so much of my heart and soul into. Uh, I've really tried. I really really tried this year, and I and I, I think I I did an okay job. Tree Hunter 3 was easily my most sophisticated movie in a long time. It took so much time, so much planning for essentially a film that's overall a bridge between the more YouTube uh, unprofessional side of, of way, the way Tree Hunter began and I guess the more cinematic side that I am going to make in the future for Tree Hunter. So <clears throat> it's a transition film, clearly. I, I put a lot of my, of my stylistic choices into that film to kind of just show people that like I can do something. To show people that I, I can do something if I wanted to, I can make something good and, and grand. I've grown a lot since that. My sensibilities on filmmaking have like increased exponentially and uh, Tree Hunter 3, while it used to be a, a huge, a huge endeavor, now it's just a stepping stone for what's to come. So now I know what to improve on and what to do better. The Godzilla Minus One video, 1.5k views, which is great. And then the comments were beautiful. I've never had so much support for a single video I've ever done in my entire life. That was, like, your words mean everything to me. 
what you said to me. I, I, re I read every comment and it was, it kind of reaffirmed the thoughts that have been going through my head that maybe I should probably start diverging my content a little bit into another direction. Not that you won't see films or that I'll stop making movies or or that things are gonna like look, that like be different. It's more so I'm gonna try a different style of content that I think is more watchable and more, you could take a lot more from it as a, as a normal, regular viewer than, than my other videos. The, the Godzilla Minus One video was the first of its kind that you're gonna start seeing a lot more on my channel. The route I'm going down right now is a good one that I can grow a lot more from it than s sending out films on YouTube to pretty much die instantly. Um, it's kind of like like you're in the middle of the ocean and you're sending out little bottles of it with like letters in them. You're sending them out for them to never be seen ever again. And that's kind of, it's pretty defeating. So I think I'm gonna stick to stuff a little similar to the, to the most recent video I've done. It definitely told me and confirmed to me that, that I actually know what I'm doing and that I, I can do something good and great if I, if I put my mind to it that people actually like. I think writing is one of my strongest uh, traits. So I think I'm gonna take advantage of that. I want this character that I created a long time ago as my logo. I want him to represent creativity and perseverance through all the trials and tribulations I've had over this year, over the last few years uh, making this channel. Uh, it it is refused to die. I refuse to, to bend. Here, here's hoping that uh, that that little character uh, becomes a, a strong symbol of, I guess, being proud of who you are. I think that's that's that would be a nice thing. This this year is gonna be it. This is gonna be a good year, and I really hope you guys are gonna be right here with me because I cannot wait to show you guys what I have in store. I think next year is going to be good. I feel it. I feel next year is going to be real good. But yeah, the, the channel's been growing steadily and I'm, I'm very proud of everything me and my, my friends and everyone that's worked with me has been able to do right now. I'm very grateful. Slowly growing into something that, that I guess means something to people and that's really nice to me. That's all I really want, you know? So I, Cheers to 2024. I feel my heart. This is gonna be a good year. 2023 was a constant battle. Uh, but I came out stronger. I came out better. And uh, I'm here to stay. Uh, and uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Take take the day off. Go to, go to anywhere. Be with your family. Do something with your life and not play fucking uh, Half-Life for fucking 20 hours or some shit. Not the lens. <laughs> Is that okay? Did that? Oh man.